Hello, my name's Caden on Injagranmore, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you every single Kai minifigure ever made for Ninjago. This is every figure ever made except for the movie figures. Um, I have them, I just don't think uh, they belong in a collection video like this. Um, like I said, this is every single figure, uh, including the Minecraft figure, any non-canon figures, every canon figure. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So here we have original Kai, Kendo Kai, Kai DX and Kai ZX. No particular standouts here. This is probably the most classic, uh, the most iconic Kai, sorry. This is probably one of the better, um, most liked Kais. Uh, but yeah, none of these are particularly expensive. Here are the backs of them. Here we have NRG Kai, Final Battle Kai slash Kimono Kai, Rebooted Kai and Golden Kai. Uh, as I'm sure you probably know, Golden Kai is not only one of the most expensive Ninjago figures, but the most expensive Kai figure as far as I'm aware. Um, he came out in a Brooktober pack, 2017 I think. <clears throat> uh, but I put him here because I'm kind of doing this roughly in order of uh, how canon they are. Like the order of you know their canon appearances. And I know that figure isn't exactly canon, but they know what they were doing. Uh, I'll show you the exclusive face prints. So this is the standard Kai face print. There's NRG, and there is the one you get for the golden figure. Here are the backs of them all. Bit of, uh, you know, fun Ninjago more trivia. This figure is the oldest Ninjago figure I own. Like, the first ever Ninjago figure I got. Uh, I got it back in 2015, I think. So what's that? That's six years. I've had this figure for six years. So yeah, this figure is very um, special to me. Here we have Stone Armor Kai, Sleeveless Kai, Jungle Robes Kai slash Suzuki Kai, and Deep Stone Kai. No particular standouts here. Uh, of course, this figure was released a few years after Season 3, but that's about it. These are pretty, pretty standard figures. Here are the backs of them, and I think it's worth noting that I'm pretty sure this Kai figure is kind of rare because it only released in a Target cube. So, yeah, I think this is one of the more expensive Kai figures. Nowhere near as expensive as the Golden Kai uh, you saw a minute ago. But, yeah, definitely still still in the big leagues in terms of Ninjago for you. Here we have Air Jitsu Kai, Skybound Kai, Dave the Departed Kai, and Hands of Time Kai. Um, this Air Jitsu Kai face, a lot of people seem to think has uh, this uh, face is the same as the NRG face. Uh, same for all of the Air Jitsu and the NRG Ninja. And while, <clears throat> while they do look very similar, they are quite different if you um, pay close enough attention. Here are the backs of them. And, of course, Hands of Time Kai does get that special powered-up face, as well as this kind of confident face, which I love. And I wish they had that face on all of the Kai figures, because it, it just looks so, so Kai-like, I guess. Here we have Sons of Garmin on Kai, Spinjitsu Masters Kai, Hunted Kai, and Dragon Masters Kai. Um, these suits are regarded as some of the worst, which... Fair enough, I guess. I don't mind them that much. Uh, these masks are regarded as the worst masks. Um, I'll just pick them up here. The two-piece masks, definitely agree with that. They are absolutely terrible. Whosever idea it was, I think needs to be fired. Um, yeah, they were terrible. They looked good. I I'll give them that. They definitely looked good, but they do not function very well at all. Um... Yeah, not, not much to say about these. The Hunted suits are my favourites, and I think Kai's is definitely uh, a standout. Here are the backs of them, nothing interesting to really see here. Here we have Legacy 1 Kai, Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitsu Kai, Forbidden Spinjitsu Kai, and Kai FS, or Spinjitsu Slam Kai. Uh, here we have another powered up Kai face, however this is one of the worst ones. Uh, what I do like about this one though, is on the back you get a Happy Kai face which is always nice to get. Doesn't really resemble Kai, I don't think. What do you think? I don't think it really looks like him, but whatever. And of course, we have the Kai face introduced for the movie that I didn't show, because if I'm being honest, I just could not be bothered taking off the two-piece masks. Uh, I'm so glad they removed the two-piece masks. If anyone was in the community around late 2018, you may remember these masks actually got revealed and a lot of people didn't like them. No one really liked how long the bandana piece was, but <clears throat> uh, I, I think uh, they have definitely grown on everyone. But yeah, these are the, these are the season eleven figures. They're season ten. 
Uh, notice how these three all use the same legs, kind of lazy by Lego, and this is not the final time these legs get used as well. Here's the backs of them, not much to really see here. Of course, these two figures are identical, uh, only the masks is uh, only the masks are different. So yeah, that's something to to note. Here we have Digi Kai, Avatar Kai, Minecraft Kai, and Legacy 2.0 Kai. <clears throat> This Kai figure is my probably my favourite Kai figure ever. I was so hyped when it got leaked. I was so hyped to get it. I got it on day one, and I absolutely love it. Um, Minecraft Kai, very, very unique. Uh, it came in a Minecraft set, and it also came out around the same time as Prime Empire. So it kind of tied into the whole video game, um, video game feel of Ninjago at the time. Uh, so that's really cool. I don't know if they did that on purpose. Probably did. Um, but yeah, I just found that really cool. And then, of course, you can see here, Avatar Kai uses the same legs as Season 11 Kai. Which, again, very lazy, but you can't really complain when you were getting two figures. You got these two figures in one £9 set, the arcade pod. So, a reuse of legs. Um, yeah, you can't really be too mad. But yeah, the, these four are all great figures, in my opinion. Here are the backs of them. Again, not much to see. I think that's like a Cobra Kai reference or something. Uh, and the face prints, you can see this figure has a scared, not scared, a kind of, oh no, worried face uh, face print. Don't know why I had to say, oh no, to think of the word worry. I don't know. Anyway, um, this figure also, I think, has, um, I think that's a unique face print, uh, which is also cool. And I guess you can count this as a unique Kai face print, technically. So, yeah, you, you can see that as three unique Kai face prints in one wave if you want to stretch your imagination uh, that far. Here we have Hero Kai, Spinjitsu Burst Kai, Epic Battle Kai, and 10th Anniversary Kai. Um, not the best figures here. I'm not, I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it. I think this one is probably the worst. Um, the Burst Kai is, of course, not canon. They just made it to, to sell sets. Uh, as they did with the Lloyd one. Uh, these two aren't too bad. I, I do really like this figure. Just the, the lack of unique leg prints uh, for the 10th anniversary figure kind of drags them down a little bit, in my opinion. Uh, the new face print for there um, looks pr pretty good. I'll get the NLG face now, so you can kind of compare them. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get it up here. Uh, yeah, you can see the NLG face print compared to the Spinjitzy Burst face print. That's, what, nine years difference, I think. Uh, so, yeah, I just think that's really cool to look at. Uh, this, I think, is like a Street Fighter reference, if anyone's into Street Fighter. Personally, I am not, but I'm sure there are lots of people out there who are. Um, any back print? Yeah, a bit of back print there. Okay, yeah, that, that figure looks pretty cool. And for a £9 set, you can't really complain. Coming up towards the end of the collection here, we have Island Kai, Scuba Kai, which isn't canon to the show, Evo Kai, and Spinjitzu Training Kai, I think that's called. Um, these two figures, both released in 2021, are absolutely phenomenal. These suits, the island suits, are sometimes regarded as uh, the best suits, which I do not um, have anything to say about that. I think that is a very valid um, opinion. Scuba Kai, <clears throat> not canon at all. However, still a really cool concept, and I'm so glad they gave us the scuba suit for Kai and Co. Then these two figures are kind of... Uh, I don't know. I don't like the colour scheme. I really don't like the kind of medium nougat, red, yellow, flame yellow. I don't know. It's just not really my cup of tea. Uh, here we have another powered up face. That one just looks... It just looks weird. I'm not the biggest fan of these two figures. However, these two are absolutely phenomenal. Here are the backs of them. You can't really see much. And finally, we are onto the Crystallized Kai's. We have Crystallized Kai, Golden Dragon Kai, and just Golden Kai. <clears throat> Three very unique figures, all in one wave. This, these figures are amazing. And I'm sure you've heard so many people talk about recently. Um, th th these are all just absolutely phenomenal. I, I, there's nothing I can really say. Um, this, I think, is one of the better Kai's. This is one of the best Kai's as well. And this, honestly, it's my least favourite dragon form of the ninja, which isn't at all a um, an insult, because all of the dragon variants of the ninja were absolutely phenomenal. I just think Kai's is the worst. Um, his face is the same as the Spinjitzu Masters one from Core. Um, 
yeah, I, I don't know, there's not much to say. These wings are huge and it makes it quite hard to display on a base plate. So maybe putting some extra studs under his legs, um, which are completely transparent, um, which is amazing. You can't really see, but yeah, the, the amount of effort that must have gone into that figure is absolutely phenomenal. And when I said that, I just bit my lip, which really hurt. Here are the backs of them, not much to see again. And it's so ugly. The blue Technic pins showing through the back there. If he leans back a bit, you can see it at the top as well. Yeah, do not like that. Not a big fan of that at all. But you can't complain when um, when the rest of the figure looks so good. Okay, and that is it for every single Kai figure release for the Ninjago TV show. Um, I made the Jay and Cole videos um, for these collection videos quite a while ago. Uh, it was about three weeks ago. So if you're interested in those, go check them out. And I'm going to finally do the Zane one. I, I think I'm going to record it now and I'll upload that whenever because I finally have the last Zane figure I needed. Um, I, I was putting off the video for so long because I didn't have this Zane figure. I finally have it now, Dragon Master Zane. So yeah, I'm able to record the complete Zane collection, which should be up soon. So subscribe if you want to see that. Uh, I'll also be doing Nia's um, fairly soon because I do have a Nia figure. And hopefully I can get Lloyd done pretty soon. I don't have the newest crystallized version of Lloyd. But um, I will definitely get that for my birthday. So stay tuned uh, and subscribe if you want to be able to see um, all, all of those complete collections. But yeah, that's all I can really say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. I don't know why I said that really weird. I said, I see you later. I don't know. Bye.